Tristan's new bae is speaking out about the real reason she's hanging out with a basketball star. Help me. Chloe <laughs> is ready to cut ties with her cheating ex, but what does this mean for baby True? We're gonna find out. And the social media sass was on fire this morning. Justin Bieber reacted to Shawn Mendes liking a photo of Hailey Bieber, and Louis Tomlinson criticized the Biebs. We're digging into the drama right now in Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Devin Howard. And I'm Courtney Revolution. Yes, you are. You know it, girl. <laughs> Let's talk about Tristan Thompson of course. and this new bae. So we filled you in on this yesterday. Tristan's been seen with this new woman named Charisma Ramirez. She's a very beautiful Instagram model. I mean, the girl is stunning. She's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I love for her. Um, they've been doing uh, going to fancy dinners in New York. They were seen entering his hotel room with two Starbucks cups and then leaving even later. Mm. Uh, so, you know, the assumption is is that they're dating. You know, he rebounded very quickly from this Chloe Jordan drama and found someone new to probably cheat on in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but now, a friend of Charisma spoke to Holly Scoop exclusively and said that the two are actually not dating. So, Courtney, before we dive into this, tell me your thoughts. Michael, I have a question for you, Devin. Do we believe that? Do we believe that this friend is just covering for Charisma? You know, I actually don't feel like this friend is covering for her. Mm -hmm. So for one, Charisma's Instagram is private. So to me, it doesn't seem like she's out there to get the followers mm -hmm. and the fame. If she was doing that, her her Instagram would be totally open. Yeah, and for ready us to, to see. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as you know, as silly as it sounds, I think having a private Instagram proves that she's not really in it for the clout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say this: if she is having her Instagram private and she's not trying to flaunt it all over, maybe, just maybe, Devin, mm -hmm. she could be a friend. But we are gonna have to see, because the way that these photographs are looking, the way these situations are being set up, yep. I feel like this could be a case for the F, B, and the I. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's sounding like Kris Jenner right now. Okay. All right, well here is the real reason why she's been photographed with Tristan, and it's because she's actually dating his teammate. Mm. Rumor has it, she's mm. seeing Jordan Clarkson. Oh. So the Cavs were in New York for a game, so naturally all of the guys have been hanging out together. Uh, Tristan. Uh, Charisma and Jordan were all seen at dinner together sometime last week. It still doesn't explain why Tristan went into his hotel room with yeah, only two with Starbucks, two Starbucks cups. Yeah. That piece of the puzzle, I don't know, Devin. It's not. I'm trying to place it with the rest, and it's not really fitting. What is exactly going on? Why was there not a third cup? Is there a caffeine allergy? <laughs> like, does Jordan not need to wake up? Like, what? What's going on? Like, why he couldn't share the wealth? Well, maybe he was actually going in with a coffee cup for someone else. Mm. Maybe he got. I don't know why I'm. Why why am I defending Tristan Thompson? <laughs> we're, we're just speaking the facts because, you know, we're always biased, Devin. So, you know, we're just spreading out all the always. facts in our receipts and we're just trying to figure it all out. We're getting to the bottom of this. We are getting in to the bottom of this. In order to get to the bottom of things, you got to get to the top of things. So. <laughs> So that's what we're doing. Well, you know, I'm sort of feeling like I might believe this source that's mm. close to Charisma who spoke with us just because, you know, the what they said was very like, you know, she wants to clarify that she's not dating Tristan, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. So I guess we'll have to see, but it's very possible she is, you know, hanging out with Jordan and Tristan just happened to be there because they're all on the same team. Um, and Charisma also, the source also said that Charisma's only been photographed with Tristan because the paparazzi are spotting out these prime moments when the two are together mm. so that they can sell the photos and make a story out of it. I mean, that could actually be true, Devin. They've done I'm, that type of thing before. Very true. We know how this industry works. It's very easy to sort of like take a moment and make a story out of it. Exactly. So, I don't know, Devin. I don't, I'm not 100% sold on the charisma and Tristan not being a thing. We're gonna have to see this play out. Tristan, He's been caught before, but maybe he's trying to, you know, maneuver his narrative yeah. in a way. We're gonna have to see. He might be, he might be. But there is somebody who might be taking comfort in the fact that Tristan potentially has not moved on from the chaos so quickly, mm. and that's Khloe Kardashian. No. But it doesn't, listen, Take you can take comfort in this. It doesn't mean she's any less bitter about all of the drama that's happened. Yes. Which is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, good. Uh, so this latest scandal gave Khloe the confirmation she needed to officially cut romantic ties with Tristan, which is something we've been hoping for for a long time. Yes, so let's just say this, Devin. So up until this point, Tristan and Chloe have been potentially talking. There was never a public statement that they were not together. Exactly. They never came out. Tristan never came out and said, I'm not with Chloe. Chloe never came out and said, I'm not with Tristan before this. Right. 
I just wanted y'all to get that. We do have a lot of comments in there saying they were broken up when he kissed Jordan Woods. I mean, regardless, he shouldn't be kissing Jordan Woods anyway, Dude. but they, I mean, they did. we don't even know if they actually were broken up. Exactly, they were holding on. They were holding Wilson on. Wilson Phillips, okay. <laughs> I feel silly today, Devin, if you can't already tell. I love it. It's Friday. We have the weekend coming up. We are feeling good. Khloe Kardashian's feeling good, too. From mm. here on out, she is keeping her communications with Tristan professional and dry. So their only purpose in talking to each other is to coordinate visits for baby True, which is very necessary because Absolutely. Tristan has not seen True since before Valentine's Day. Way too long. Where is daddy? Yeah, where is daddy? True need her daddy, Tristan. I know. Come on. He's off in New York hanging out with... He's out there being a friend. People, Thank yeah. you for being a friend. <laughs> Tristan Thompson? <laughs> what? That don't even make sense. Who knew he was a friend? That's insane. Um, <laughs> despite everything, though, Chloe wants True to have a good relationship with her dad, and she's willing to do whatever it takes to foster that daddy daughter bond, even if it means flying to Ohio to coordinate their visits. See, that sucks. I mean, it sucks for that Chloe has wound up this way with her daughter. Because I know. we know that Chloe's always wanted a family. She wants True to be close with her father. And her father, appears to not really be as interested. Yeah. I want Tristan to be part of Baby True's life, even mm -hmm. if it means it has to be so clinical. Devin, I want what's good for the child. I want what's good for the child, too. And so does Chloe. A source close to her spoke with Ian e said that things are very complicated, but the bottom line is, is that she doesn't want True to be collateral damage, which I think is just the best mom response to yeah. this scenario. There's a lot of ways Chloe could have handled the situation. Tristan could have never seen True ever again, mm -hmm. except on the TV. But yeah. you know what? The fact that Chloe is willing to sort of, I mean, she's rich, I mean, but go out of her way to fly yeah. to and fro just to be a good mother is, it's good to hear. It is good to hear. And also, just to uh, piggyback off of what we were talking about yesterday, Chloe is planning on inviting Tristan to the birthday party. All right. Yeah, so that's happening. Uh, originally, I was thinking that I didn't think Tristan should get an invite, mm. but that was just because I was feeling a little bitter about the whole thing. <laughs> now I've changed my tune. That's definitely the best way to handle it. I, I agree, Devin. You agree. It's what's best for baby True. It is what's best for baby True, and we just love True. Come on, children. All right, everybody. Well, let's wrap up this Daily Rewind by talking about all this trash talking people are doing mm -hmm. online. So let's talk about this Sean Mendez, Justin Bieber I thing. love Sean Mendez. That is a man. We call he, him Sean Mendez Sean in the studio. Sean Mendez. He is, <laughs> I know, he's very very cute. I have a That's big a crush on him. <laughs> Um, anyway, Sean Mendez apparently liked a photo that Justin posted of Haley Bieber, and fan mm. accounts obviously went nuts because uh, Sean and Haley have had a history together. They went to the Met Gala together. They visited his hometown together. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they were dating, as far as we know. As far as we know, and they were very good friends. Yeah. So I mean, no big deal as far as I'm concerned. It wasn't like he was leaving any flirty hearts or saying anything, you know, a little bit suspect. He wasn't out there being a Tristan. Yeah. Yeah, so, true. you know, no big deal. No big deal, but of course the fan accounts think it's a big deal. Of course. So Justin needed to step in and he cleared the air by commenting saying, they're friends, relax. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I love that. I love that Justin stepped in He said, you know what, believers, relax, this is not a fire, no need to, you know, go crazy. Yeah. Haley and I are married. Sean Mendez is not really a factor in this <laughs> equation. It was just nice. It's just a like. It's just a double tap. What if it was by accident? I you know, know what I mean? Well, All of this drama and hoopla for what? It was not by It was not by accident. <laughs> Let's be real. Double tap. It yeah. was intentional. <laughs> and I also wonder if Justin secretly did feel a little insecure that mm. Sean did that. But it was Justin's photo. So there's yeah. really no issues here. Yeah. No Everyone issues. Everyone seems to be like nice and friendly about it. So. Let's not try to run off into the hills with all that drama, believers. Relax. I know, but there is drama who uh -oh. have, that might be brewing with Louis Tomlinson. Oh no! The former One Direction singer dragged Justin in an interview with Amp Radio. So what he said was, you know, I'm not going to name names, but there is one celebrity in particular, and I'm sure it's the first name we both think of, who's been a bit of a head throughout his career in pop. There have been times when I've looked at him and thought, you know what, how impossible would it have been to have done this at an even younger age and all on your own? So he basically, you know, he's sympathizing with yeah. Justin because he knows what it's like to be young and in the spotlight, but also he calls him a in the same breath. I mean, it's all about perspective. He's not really taking a side. He's just 
talking and discussing about the whole scope yeah. of Justin's behavior. I'm sure he knows that he's like a good guy, but there have been some issues in the past. Oh, yes. You know, you know peeing in mop buckets and all of that. We ain't forget Justin. Egg in people's houses. Egg in people's houses. <laughs> yeah. These are things that have happened, but we can see that Justin has grown. Yes. He's grown so much. He's recognized his past moments, and he's just trying to better himself, and I can't really be mad at that. No, so. I can't be mad at that either. I, I still love Justin Bieber. Me too. <laughs> I love Louis too. I love him both. I love everybody, Sean Mendez, Louis Tomlinson. We need those three to collab. We need a bang bang part too. Okay, <laughs> bang bang into the room. Well, everybody, <laughs> who do you love? Who are your favorite celebrities? And also, let us know what you think about all of these stories. Are you relieved Tristan didn't move on so quickly and find himself another woman to cheat on? And is Chloe smart to keep Tristan around for Baby True? And finally, why do you think Louis Tomlinson insulted Justin Bieber? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time on Holly Scoops Daily Rewind. Bye, guys.